Hey everybody, JR from JR's Cars. Today, I'm going to show you how to flush your 4L60E transmission. And today, I'm going to be doing this on my uh, GMC Yukon. It's going to work for a Chevy Suburban, a Chevy Tahoe, Cadillac Escalade, and it probably works for pretty much any of these 4L, 4L60E transmissions um, in, you know, Camaros and stuff like that too. Um, so stay tuned, and I'll show you what I did with basic stuff that I had laying around the house. All right, everyone, so let's get at this. Uh, so the first thing that you wanna do is you wanna make some room over here because basically what you're looking to get is that right in there, that upper, that upper transmission hose that goes into the radiator. Um, it's much easier if the upper air box is out of your way. Now there's basically, there's four screws. There's one here, one there, and then two on the back side too. Um, I've already loosened them up. So basically you're just gonna take this, pick it up, get your filter out of there, which is kind of difficult one-handed. And then you're gonna wanna take this and just move it out of the way. And this tray, is going to be useful in a little bit and you'll see why but now that that's out of the way look at all the room that you have to work on this now you have a little bit of wiggle room to where you can get in here and do what you need to so i'm going to show you how to get this line off and we're going to get at this right now all right so what you want to what you want to do from here is you need to remove this plastic shield and that just pulls right away. And then what you're going to want to do, because these clips are really hard to get out, instead of trying to get this clip out and then losing it and dropping it, and then you're really going to be screwed. What I did was I, I'm taking this nut out. Now this nut is an 18 millimeter nut. This is okay, you don't have to worry about it. It's not gonna bind up on, on the hose or anything like that. It will, run, it will run freely as you turn it. So just take this out and then it's gonna open up this port to where we can get this off a hell of a lot easier than where it is right now. So we'll do that. All right, so now that this is off, basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna find, you're gonna rotate this until you get to a point where you can pull this clip out of the way. You're gonna to have to play around with it a little bit. You have to push this up just a little. All right, so you can get it to a point to where you can get either a screwdriver or a pick or something like that underneath it. And then you'll just pull up on this. And then you'll twist it. And then this will come off. Like I said, sometimes you have to play around with it a little bit. And there it is. That clip came right off. Then what you'll do, just get the screwdriver out of the way, just pull this right off, comes right off of the fitting there. And then we can leave this right off to the side because it's, it's, there's no use for it. So I'll show you what I'm gonna do to hook up a hose to this so we can put this back in the radiator and get some get the fluid to flush out of there because this is not the the exit for the fluid. The fluid exits from the radiator. All right, so here is that little clip I was talking about, right? So this thing is a pain to get out, so you're better off just taking the entire thing off and then you can get the clip out. You don't have to worry about this coming right off the hose because you can you can peel it off. You can get this um, this clip out with the hose still attached. You can take this out of the radiator with the hose still attached to it. All right, so now you can see what it looks like. Basically, I just took a little bit of tape and I put the wrapped the tape around it enough to where I squeezed it in there, and it's got a nice tight fit. So now we'll go and put this back in the radiator and then we'll go set up the tube that we can um, we can use to drain the old fluid in and then we'll try and get this all squared away and good clean fluid coming out of this 
All right, so here's where I'm at right now. This is your transmission hose that goes to the transmission. It's the, like I said, it's the upper, um, the upper hose that you want to remove. You can see it in there, All right? Basically, this you can leave off to the side. You don't have to do anything with it. It's, it's not going to do anything. But this hose here, this is what I showed you before. Um, this will, the fluid will come out of here and basically this is what I did. I just took my um, transmission fluid jug and I put it inside the air filter housing, which is a nice place for it to be. Nice and, uh, nice and easy place. So now what I'll do is I will start the car up and I will show you what this looks like. Okay, so now what you want to do is you want to, um, what I did before this is I actually um, hooked up a uh, siphon hose inside the transmission tube. I put it down in the bottom. I sucked out everything that was in there. I also went down and um, took the pan out. I took the filter out, cleaned up everything down below. I put everything all back together. There's a million and a half videos on, on how to do that, so I'm not going to bore you with that. So now what we're going to do is we're going to fill this back up with good, clean transmission fluid. So what we'll do now is I'll show you what I did to hook up a tube to get the transmission fluid out. Now when you're running this, you want to make sure that you're shifting it through the gears because what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get all that crappy fluid out of the passages in the transmission and you want to make sure that all that is nice and cleared out of the, uh, the different gears. All right, so I'm gonna admit that I did cheat a little bit. I did, um, I did start flushing this out a little bit before actually creating this video. I figured um, I was just gonna do it, and then I figured I'm like, you know what? What the hell? I'll make a video out of this and help somebody out, hopefully. But this is what I pulled out of it at first, and I wanted it to be up against my white fence here, so you could actually see. You can't see anything through that liquid, that fluid was so dark and so bad, it was disgusting. So this was the first, um, the first uh, two liters that I took out of the, uh, the transmission when I flushed it. Um, but now, as you saw on the video before, now we're nice and cherry red. So now it's good to put back together. All right, so now that it's ready to go back in, all you have to do is you have to take this clip and what you're gonna do is you're gonna put it back on. All right, that's what it's gonna look like. So you take this, put it back in the trans, uh, back in the uh, radiator, and then you're gonna reconnect that transmission hose. Now that it's back in the radiator, this is all you have to do. You take this, put it right over here, and you'll hear it click when you when you put it back in. And there it is. It's back in. No issues. And don't forget to put that clip cover back on. So in doing this, basically, like I said, um, I had taken and dropped a pan already. Um, so there was nothing in the pan. It was bone dry. Um, I ran through about two and a half gallons 
of fluid until I really started seeing some nice, good, clean red fluid. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to get it down um, on the ground because it's up in the air. And like I said, I was underneath it before. Um, we're going to let it run. We'll get it on level ground. We'll check the fluid and then we'll give it a drive and see how it works. So I hope that helped you out. And if it did, do me a favor, hit that like button. Consider subscribing because I have a bunch of other content on here and I have a bunch more content coming to you. So I hope everybody's staying safe out there and I'll catch you in the next video.